Lucid dreaming sounds crazy to anyone who hasn't done it, but I'm going to prove to you that it's real. Actually, I won't. I'm going to let the hundreds of scientists and 40 plus years of research speak for itself. I'm going to take the top five studies to answer these five questions. Oh. Is lucid dreaming real? What even is it? How and where does it happen in the brain? What are some of the neurological consequences? Lucid dreamers, you're going to love that one. And how can we make it happen? All the articles and studies I refer to are linked below. And if you know a study that I've missed, make sure you comment and let me know because maybe it's one I haven't discovered yet. First, so we're all on the same page. A lucid dream is when you are fast asleep in your REM cycle and you are having a dream, but you know that you are dreaming as you are dreaming. And lucid dreaming has its own discernible neurocorrelates, which means it's not just a psychological phenomenon. It's not just something I'm imagining. It is in fact a neurologically different brain state. And it's wild because people have been lucid dreaming for forever. Cultures like the Tibetan Buddhists or the Toltecs or the Siberian shamans, they incorporated these practices in thousands of years ago. And famous luminaries like Nikola Tesla or artists like Salvador Dali used lucid dreaming practices in their creations and inventions. Despite the long history of anecdotal evidence across the world, the scientific community for the longest time called lucid dreaming a paradoxical impossibility. Essentially they were like, nah, no, you're just, you're just having a dream that you're dreaming that you're dreaming, that you're dreaming in the dream that you think you know your dream, but it's just, it's just a dream. Nothing to it at all. Q study one. The first study that's usually attributed to proving lucid dreaming is real is Stephen LeBerge's 1981 paper. But most people don't know this, but in 1975, there was actually a similar study done which proved it by Keith Hearn at Hull University. It just didn't get any attention. But both of the experiments were very similar. They both wanted to prove that when someone woke up or got lucid inside of their own mind, that it was a real state. But they were like, how can we get someone when they're inside their own mind to send us a signal to let us know that it's happening. And the answer, eye movement. Because when you're dreaming, you're an REM, rapid eye movement. Your whole body, except for your lungs and your eyes are paralyzed. But they realized, theoretically, if someone got lucid, they would have control over their eyes and them in the lab watching should be able to read the eye movement from the person. So theoretically, they should be able to send signals. Essentially, eye movement Morse code. And I love this quote of Keith Hearns, it's from Charlie Morley's book Dreams of Awakening. They had an experienced lucid dreamer hooked up in their sleep lab, was fast asleep, and it was the final hours of the morning and they were hoping to get a result. Suddenly, out of the jumbled, senseless twos and fros of the two eye movement recording channels, a regular set of large zigzags appeared on the chart. Instantly, I was alert and felt the greatest exhilaration upon realizing I was observing the first ever deliberate signal sent from within the dream to the outside world. And so it became clear that there was something very substantial behind lucid dreaming. And since then they've done studies with more sophisticated brain imaging to really get a peek behind the brain and see what's happening when we get lucid. Which brings me to study number two, 2009 in a neurological laboratory in Frankfurt, Germany. This study sought to understand more about what was happening in the brain when someone had a lucid dream. And they were able to get brain imaging of someone in a lucid dream so they could compare it to someone who was in a non-lucid dream and someone who was in a waking state and see what it was. And this is what they concluded. Lucid dreaming constitutes a hybrid state of consciousness with definable and measurable differences from the waking state and from the REM dream state. This study confirmed that lucid dreaming is its own unique brain state. You only access that when you're in a lucid dream. And the next study was able to pinpoint exactly the brain waves and where in the brain gets activated during a lucid dream. And right now you're probably like, wait, if lucid dreaming has been a scientifically verified phenomenon for over 40 years, why isn't everybody doing it? If we can access a high definition, fully sensorial virtual simulator of your own unconscious mind for free, why aren't we doing it? And the answer is just, you know, most don't know about it. We don't live in a society that values dreams. We were never taught. That's why I have this channel. I want to teach you and train you how to get lucid. If you're not sure where to start, I have free resources in the video link below. You can always apply for one-to-one -one coaching. And apart from just accessing a limitless world of possibility and creation, the science is showing that there are a lot of other benefits to lucid dreaming. Enter study three. This is my favorite study. I get super passionate about it because you know, I've been lucid dreaming for over six years. I've had hundreds of lucid dreams and some of my most powerful and life transforming experiences have happened in the lucid dream state. It's really hard to explain to people. And it's so awesome because this study 
starts to show and reveal what a radical act of consciousness it is to get lucid. This study took place in 2012 at the Max Planck Institute for Psychiatry where they were able to get a lucid dreamer into a structural functional MRI scanner and actually get a really good look at what was happening in the brain when they got lucid. Some amazing revelations came out of the study. The first was really identifying exactly what was happening and where in the brain. Employing magnetic resonance tomography, they were able to demonstrate that a specific cortical network consisting of the right dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, the frontopolar regions, and the precuneus is activated when this lucid consciousness is attained. In fact, it comes online within seconds. And if you've ever been lucid, you know this feeling. You'll be in a dream, and then as you start to realize you're dreaming, you have this almost sense of awakening because that part of your brain is literally reactivating. And by the way, this area of the brain is what's associated with self-assessment, self-perception, self-reflection. It's the part that's awake during the day, and that kind of goes to sleep when we go into REM, which is why you could have dreams about being you know, the Queen of England or in a different country and not catch that you're in a dream. But when you get lucid, all that awareness comes back online. They also found that because lucid dreamers had extra activity in this part of the prefrontal cortex, that in lucid dreamers, that part of the brain was actually physically larger. So yes, lucid dreamers, your brains are actually bigger. The study also said, our results reveal shared neural systems between lucid dreaming and metacognitive function in particular in the domain of thought monitoring. Lucid dreamers are more aware and controlling of their dreams because they're already so aware of their thoughts while awake. As dreamers, this awareness is simply strong enough to remain activated. This is why in my method, Metadreaming, I put such an emphasis on metacognitive training. Training ourselves to have this ability to track what we're thinking is not only good for our mental health during the day, but it leads naturally to lucidity at night. And study four, done in 2014 at the University of London, they found that lucid dreamers have better than average problem solving skills. And I love this, they said, it is believed that for dreamers to become lucid while asleep, they must see past the overwhelming reality of their dream state and recognize that they're dreaming. And what they realize is something about that ability that seems to make the brain more creative, to think more laterally, even during the waking state. Other research has shown that activities like sports, singing, mental arithmetic, they elicit the exact same neurological responses when you're doing it in a lucid dream as when you're doing it awake. It seems that our neurological system does not differentiate an experience that happens in a lucid dream from one that happens in a waking life. So it seems the work we do in our lucid dreams, whether it's just experiences or the healing work, it is as real as if you were doing them in the waking realm. Sounds amazing, right? Now you're probably like, okay, great, but how do I do it? I teach you the practices of how to lose a dream in other videos. Today we're going to focus on the neuroscience and so to answer how do we do it, well we can look at a study that showed that we can actually externally stimulate the brain to make it happen. Study number five and this study is nuts. What they did was they took a bunch of inexperienced dreamers, so people who hadn't trained in lucid dreaming and they were curious and they were like, well, what if we had them sleep here and we hooked them up to a bunch of scanners and put electrodes on their head and then what if we zapped them? with different frequencies and saw if it helped them get lucid. And the wild thing is, is that when they zap them with a 40 hertz range, which is the gamma frequency your brain naturally swaps into when it gets lucid, when they did that on their inexperienced dreamers, 77% of them reported having lucid dreams. And by the way, that's the reason I use the 40 hertz range binaural beats in my meditations for the lucidity primer, which you can download for free below. Lucid dreaming is real and it is a new frontier of consciousness that anyone can have direct and personal experience exploring. I want you to get lucid and to access this incredible realm. But first, you need to master your dream recall. And you can watch this video to learn everything you need to know to start tonight.